Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the bent pins of an AM5 CPU motherboard. So when I was building my last gaming PC right behind me there, what happened is that I accidentally dropped the little plastic shield that guards the pins of the AM5 socket of my brand new X670E motherboard. And uh, I thought that this was a disaster because the CPU wouldn't fit into the socket anymore because we have a few bent pins. And you can't really see it that well because of the angle kind of hides the fact that some of the pins are bent because they're all kind of bent in this kind of fish scale shape. They don't point upwards, they point to the side. And so you can only really see it from the reflections of certain angles. And uh, I thought that I was really screwed. But um, what I found is that actually you can actually bend the pins back into place if you are extremely careful. So today I'm just gonna show you how I did it myself. You don't really need any specialized tools. What I used is a sewing needle. So the kind of the smallest metal sharp item that you can use. Um, you could probably use something like this, like a little spudger type thing or a, a really sharp knife, but something that's uh, very small and delicate and uh, you don't need a magnifying glass necessarily. I just use my phone. Uh, I actually recorded this on video on my phone as just doing it handheld. But if you were to have um, a little holder or maybe a tripod and you get that digital zoom right into the phone, then all you need to do is to uh, digitally zoom in get some good lighting in, and then use the needle to slowly push the pin back into place. Now, just be aware that the pins on the AM5 board and other modern CPU boards basically point uh, all in one direction like fish scales. So they don't point up. They have to be pointing all in the same direction for that CPU to fit into the CPU socket. So just be extremely careful. Um, just be aware that I'm not a professional repair technician. So this is something that you should take on at your own risk. But uh, if you do decide to do this yourself, you know, it might work for you like it did for me. Just make sure to be very careful and try to bend the pins all in the correct position and then kind of look around the the CPU from different angles. There shouldn't be any kind of noticeable kind of uh, pins being reflected in different directions. Um, you should be able to look all the way around it, pan all the way around, and it should all look pretty uniform and there should be no bits sticking out. And anyway, as you can see, I basically managed to get this CPU uh, bent back into shape. I could put the CPU back into a socket and uh, leave it down just fine. I installed Windows and I managed to get up and running. I played some games on it like Cyberpunk 2077 and it just seemed to work fine after that. So just because you bend the pins on your AM5 CPU doesn't mean that it's gonna be a disaster. You just have to be a bit patient. Um, it took me about five minutes, four or five minutes to bend the pin back into place. And uh, hopefully it's going to work for you. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.